no, California does play a role in all elections. And uh, we are looking at what some of the leading candidates, also a California candidate, as David is covering the Republicans for us. Yeah, that's right. Carly Fiorina, everyone knows from her Senate race from a few years back, back in 2010. Now, technically, she's on the ballot here in New Hampshire as a resident of Virginia, but she has deep roots in California business and politics. Okay, I'm following Sarah. Carly Fiorina plunges into a crowd at a Manchester diner. Thank you so much. Thank to shake hands, give hugs, and pose for picture after picture. We're going to get all of us, all right? After being bummed from the last New Hampshire debate, Fiorina repeatedly portrays herself as an outsider and an underdog in the Republican race. The game is rigged. The system is fixed. We have to take our country back. Six years after she lost a U.S. Senate race to Barbara Boxer in California, Fiorina knows how to stay focused. She uses this last day of the New Hampshire campaign to talk about her experience in business, but never once mentions Hewlett Packard by name and never talks about the fact she's the only woman among the well-known Republicans. The Clinton campaign is making charges of sexism. Have you found any of that on your side of the race? <laughs> you know, that is the card that Hillary Clinton always plays. I'm asking people to vote for me because I'm the most qualified candidate. She's the only person in, from California, the only person from the western part of the United States in the race. Does that make any difference for you? Um, not at all. I, 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 as, as long as you're an American citizen, I'm not real concerned about what geographic area you're from. Although I, I wouldn't, uh, I, I'm not a fan of California politics. Great to meet you. You guys voting for me? We will be. Fiorina is counting on some last minute polling that shows 55% of Republicans in New Hampshire still not completely sure who will get their vote tomorrow as a way to give her another boost. Right. Even a lot of people in this room said they were undecided. How did you feel about that? Well, see, this is why the polls are ridiculous. This is why it's stupid to determine who's on a debate stage based on polls instead of votes. Edie, as you'll remember, back in 2010, Carly Fiorina fought breast cancer. Mm -hmm. She lost an adult daughter to drug addiction during that, that Senate race in 2010. But she didn't refer that at, at all to any of her personal situation during her final pitch to voters tonight. She simply called herself a fearless fighter. And by the way, coming up tonight at 5 o'clock, we're going to hear from the other major Republican candidates. All right, David, thank you. And while we're talking about